Welcome to my madness, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be taking a look at this new retro card series, Ben Riley Spider Man. I just wanted to show you guys the package because I think it's a pretty good package. I, I like these old school bubble card retro style packaging. I like them, they look good. They're very pleasing to the eye on the shelf. They're very pleasing to the eye. If you are an inbox collector, obviously this is a much better option than what they are currently giving us. And then of course, even if like me, you open everything, it's still cool to look at up until the point that you actually crack it open. I do like it quite a bit. I think it looks great. Um, you know, it sucks that we're not getting like build a figure pieces and things like that, more accessories, all that kind of good stuff that we should be getting with these figures in this packaging, but it's still pretty nice packaging. So I just wanted to show you guys that before we go ahead, like we're gonna do right now and crack this guy open and see what we've got inside. All right, here we are with him out of the package and the only accessories he comes with are an extra thwip hand and an extra wall crawling hand. And there was more than enough room in the package to give us two thwip hands and two wall crawling hands. They just cheaped out and decided not to give it to us. Mm, and that's truly a shame. But let's take a look at the figure itself. And what we have here is kind of a, a Ben Riley version of like a first appearance Spider-Man where we've got the black and red instead of the uh, blue and red. And, um, you know, it's a solid costume design. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I have not read this storyline in the comics. Um, you know, I have not read modern Spider-Man since the Superior Spider-Man days, so I'm not sure what's going on with the Ben Riley character. Outside of this action figure, I don't know this costume, so I don't know how accurate it is to, uh, you know, the comic books themselves. Um, but it's a cool looking costume, although the spider on the back looks ridiculous. It doesn't even look like a spider. It looks like a flea or something on the back there. But I mean, overall, the costume's a pretty cool design. You got the kind of offset spider here on the chest with the uh, webbing going around. Nice pattern design there. I mean, I think all in all, it looks good. The design of the costume. But uh, again, you know, if you've read the comics, you may see inaccuracies about this that I don't. So let me know in the comment section down below if, if, if it is actually comic book accurate. But just as a design unto itself for the figure, I like it. It looks cool. Um, and it's nice and it's something different, but still, you know, absolutely Spider-Man. I mean, there's still no denying this is obviously Spider-Man. It's not so far off the mark that you go, ah, who's that character, right? Like, this is definitely a Spider-Man character. And uh, it's, uh, it's Ben Riley in a new spider suit. So what's not to love? Now... As far as the webbing itself goes, everything on mine looks nice and clean. I have seen some examples uh, online of people getting issues where they get it in and there's whole patches of webbing missing. Mine appears to have everything intact where it is supposed to be. The web lines are nice and clean. The logo on the front and the back look nice and clean, even though, again, the logo on the back looks more like a flea than it does... A spider it's just kind of odd there and uh, you know all in all looks pretty good I, I like it I mean you know everything is what you would expect uh, nice clean sharp lines and I guess that's pretty much it um, the one complaint I've heard about this guy uh, over and over again is the head sculpt is just too round and bulbous and the eyes are not the right shape and they're too bug-eyed and all that kind of stuff um, again, I have no knowledge of this particular version of Spider-Man, so I don't know if that's comic book accurate or not. I can tell you as a figure, as a toy, I like it quite a bit. I like that more kind of bulbous round head look for kind of a, a different take on Spider-Man with the much larger eyes. I think it is a cool look, even if it may not be comic book accurate. So. I've got no complaints about the shape of the head or the size of the eyes or the fact that they look like big bug eyes. I mean, that's kind of the point with Spider-Man, but I hear some people complaining. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have a complaint about this, if it's just not comic accurate. I'd be curious to know, but just again, from my point of view, looking at it as just a kind of new, cool, different costume for a Ben Riley Spider-Man, I, I see nothing wrong with it without having any knowledge of what it is supposed to look like it's still a cool looking action figure so you know i mean looks great to me but 
what do I know? Uh, as far as articulation goes, you know, it is on that newer Spider-Man buck, so you've got the uh, upper dumbbell joint there and the lower ab crunch, so he can, you know, bend way over and way back and all that kind of stuff. So he's got all the good Spider-Man articulation. His legs go out to there, so he's no Jean-Claude Van Damme, but still pretty good. And he's got the standard double-jointed elbows and knees and standard, uh, you know, ankles and, and, and wrists, and his head is on a uh, double ball peg joint there which is fine. I honestly prefer the disc hinge myself, especially for like looking up and things because he doesn't honestly look up that far, but whatever, it's still acceptable as far as I'm concerned. He does have the uh, toe articulation. I mean, it's basic stuff for modern Spider-Man figures. It's what you would expect in a figure like this, and I think that works. So for me, overall, paint, sculpt, and articulation are all on point. It looks good. It's a Spider-Man figure. It's a different costume that I'm not familiar with, but I still like it. I still think it's going to look good on the shelf. Um, so all in all, I mean, I'm looking at this and thinking, hey, this is a pretty cool Spider-Man figure. Um, so I'm happy with it. I mean, I've got no complaints here at this point. And as I'm sitting here looking, I do have a little bit of a black smudge right there on the red. Got to have at least one, I guess, paint imperfection in a Hasbro product, but there's mine. Um, but all in all, like I said, I'm happy with it. Um, it looks good as far as I'm concerned, but again, maybe I'm not the best judge of character because I don't know this version of Spider-Man. So, first thing I want to do here is go ahead and throw up some other figures and see how this guy stacks up to some other Spider-Man and Spider-Man related characters. All right, so of course we got Ben Riley here, so we've got to compare him to the Ben Riley figures we've gotten in the past. Of course, we've got the two older versions of Ben Riley Spider-Man. Um, this is obviously the more modern one. I believe this was Retro Card, if I remember correctly, and this is the older school. I forget which Build-A-Figure wave that one was a part of. I actually prefer the older one better, to be honest with you guys, because I've always pictured Peter Parker, which Ben Riley is just a clone of Peter Parker, as a, a kind of skinnier, lankier kind of guy. So I actually like this older school. I know the articulation in this older figure isn't great, but I just like the overall sculpt of that better for Peter Parker. But both are fantastic figures. And this gives you kind of a, 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 a go through here. And you can really see the difference in the size of the head on these three. Obviously, this newer version is much bigger, more bulbous head. It, it, it's a little more realistic. Honestly, the head on these two guys is kind of too small for their bodies, but that's more comic accurate. They never draw accurately sized human heads in the comics. They always draw slightly smaller to make the body itself look bigger and more muscular, that kind of thing. This one in the middle, of course, is probably a little more eh, within human proportions. Um, but it is definitely bigger and it is noticeable there. Now, as far as the articulation goes, obviously these two are basically identical. As far as articulation goes, this guy, older. So, you know, some differences there, but I still think this new one works really well in this lineup. I mean, I can definitely see this as being a new version of Ben Riley, who's out there seeking a way to kind of make him stand out from just your standard Spider-Man costume so that we know Hey, this is Ben Riley. This isn't Peter Parker. I think it works. And then, of course, we've got to compare them to what I think are the two best versions of Spider-Man that we've ever gotten from Hasbro. Of course, on the right, we've got Renew Your Vows. On the left, we've got the uh, animated version, Walmart exclusive. These two figures are absolutely fantastic in their own right. Again, probably the two best Spider-Man figures we've ever gotten. And this kind of gives you an overall feel of how this new Ben Riley stacks up to these two here. And I think uh, these two obviously work really well together, primarily because, I mean, essentially it is the same figure. I, I think there might be some changes to the sculpt. I'm not really sure, honestly. The web pattern kind of throws me off there, but I believe they're for the most part, the same figure. And then, of course, this one here, obviously much different, a much smaller version of Peter Parker over here, which I actually like a lot. I actually like that one. I think that one in particular is my favorite Hasbro version of Spider-Man. But irregardless, I mean, this Ben Riley stacks up really well with these two and I think works really good in a display. And then, of course, we've got to do the comparison with what I believe is the best Spider-Man figure we have ever gotten. Of course, this is the uh, Mafex 185 classic Spider-Man. I absolutely love this figure. I think it's just 
the best of paint, sculpt, and articulation we've ever gotten in a Spider-Man figure. And again, it is kind of true 112 scale, so he's a little bit shorter than this Ben Riley. He's probably a lot closer to that animated Spider-Man that we saw. Uh, so he's a little bit shorter, slightly out of scale, just a bit, but still a fantastic figure. But again, if you have a full Hasbro collection and you're looking for a good Ben Riley, it is hard to argue that this new one is not a great figure. All right, so let's talk about price here real quick. And this guy goes for $25. Question being, is it worth it? And I would say yes. Look, $25 is new entry level price for action figures nowadays. If you're not comfortable with that, then you might as well get out of action figures altogether as a hobby. I mean, that's just the way it is. So is this worth the entry level price for, you know, a, a six inch scale figure? Yeah, it is. It's a really good figure. It's not great. It's not fantastic. It's not over the top, but look, it's a solid sculpt, solid paint, and really good articulation, which is what you want out of a Spider-Man figure. I don't really see much to complain about from an action figure standpoint. Again, if you can see inaccuracies between this and the character as he was in the comics, I get that. But just as an action figure itself, it's really good. It looks really, really nice, and I like it quite a bit. So I'm very happy to have this one added to my personal collection. And uh, hopefully, if you pick it up, you'll be very happy with it, too. Because who wants to be disappointed in a figure that they get? It does happen, but nobody, nobody wants it. So that is pretty much it, guys. Look, I think it's a good figure. I think it's a solid figure. I think if you're a Spider-Man fan, this is definitely one you should pick up. But again, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this figure. So thank you guys for watching, and always remember to enjoy your collection.